Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, Where Should I Place My Hanukkiah? Sounds like a very simple question with a simple answer. It's not. Shorach writes, Tough Reish Ayin Aleph, the following. The person has to go ahead and place the Hanukkiah, the menorah, outside. Then he explains a few scenarios. Scenario number one, if you have a bayit patuach the Rishut HaRabim, you have a house and the door opens to the public domain, put it right by the door. Scenario number two, if you have a house with a chatzer in front of it, which seem to be similar to our parking lots, we have a chatzer in front of your building, then place it by the petach chatzer, by the opening of the chatzer, of the courtyard. Scenario number three, you don't have a door that opens up through Shetarabim, you don't have a chatzer, so then you place it by the halon in your window, assuming you're not in a high story and you're within 20 amot. Let's assume the first story, you're one story up, maybe two, so you place it there. That's scenario number three. Scenario number four, if it's times of sakana, you place it inside your house, maniach al shulchano vidayo. You leave it on your table inside your house where no one could see from the outside because unfortunately anti-Semitism, and that's it. So four levels. If your house has exposure, direct exposure to the rab in the public area, put it there. If there's a yard, chatzer, courtyard, let's call it, in front of the house and put it by the opening to the courtyard, the chatzer. Scenario number three, if you don't have either of those, then just put it in your front window. And then scenario number four, you put it on your table. So it seems like it's all clear. So why would anyone put it in their window if they live in a building? Put it by the front door of the building. Put it by the front courtyard of the building, by the chatzer. By the opening area. Why on the window? That would seem to be level number three, where a person doesn't have an opening. So this is an open Shulchan Aruch, and yet many people don't do this, and it needs to be explored. What is the definition of a chatzer? Does that have to be a private chatzer, where it's clearly yours, that the menorah that's lit in there is clearly from Mishpachat Myers? Well, no, when you light outside up front, it doesn't matter if people know this is the Myers or the Cones. So we need to explore all of these. So yes, when you want to read the Shulchan Aruch, it seems we have four clear levels, and it's obvious what to do. You start to dig in a little bit. It gets a little bit more complicated, and Yitzhak will explore the different opinions on the post and see how to apply it to a practical halacha. Shalom.